the Hopal State Park. Eleven fifteen a.m. January fourteen, Saturday, two thousand twenty-three. We're at the Ohio Pile Photography Place. I always park here real quick each time I come to Ohio Pile. First stop. Reason is it is closed in the winter, but this is where you go. To check the river height. This little uh, wooden steps right over here. It's the outfitter, meaning the companies over here, the three companies right there, and there's a fourth one, or a fifth one in the back there, provide the rubber rafts and the kayaks and the bikes for doing all the activity in the parks. What is it, January 12th again? January 14th, Saturday. So we're gonna walk down to the river and we're gonna check the river gauges. Uh, Cause we like to hike along the river shore and like to know what the river is per the gauges. Sometimes they're slightly different from what it says on the internet. This is just for historical purposes. Cause I like to go to uh, some natural wonders here in the park, which are gonna be here for thousands of years. So anybody can compare this video for hundreds of years in the future and go, oh, look, back in 2023, when the river was this height, you could see this fossil boulder. Or back in 2023, when the river was this height, you could see this, uh, pothole. I like potholes. Potholes are where the bottom of the river is flat rock plates down there. Big flat rock plates. If you were to go down, clean it away, you'd see it's all rock plate down there. And when the river comes bashing down stream and it's going uh, right to left downstream. If you were to jump in here with an inner tube, you could get to the Gulf of Mexico. This is the Yakigani River, Hopal State Park, Western Pennsylvania. And this is leading into, the Yakigani goes into the Monongahela River. And then the Monongahela goes into uh, the Ohio River at Pittsburgh. And here are the river gauges. Here's one of them right here. So that one goes down to 6.8 or 6.7, I think. And then the next gauge is out in the water out here. Oh, goody. It's 4.5 4 roughly right now. It's a nice cold day. It's about 25 degrees, I think. 23 degrees. 23 to 25 degrees outside. It's nice and warm. Uh, this is where uh, rubber rafting companies and the kayakers will jump in the water right here. Up river. This is the Akigini River. Right over there is the Main Falls. So Main Falls, that's your number one tourist attraction. And there's all kinds of parking lots over there. Across the river is the uh, Fern Cliff Peninsula. We're gonna go down river to our two favorite places, which we do once a week. We like to see the uh, Cucumber Rapids Boulder Field. The first rapids, this is the put-in point. The first rapids you run into is entrance rapids. The next rapids is cucumber rapids. So we're gonna go to the cucumber rapids. And we're gonna go to the boulder field where the river pinches together. And the boulder field at the pinch point is where the most exciting fossil rocker of all of Ohio Pile is. It's a fossil rock with the remnants of the plant life which got fossilized. So that's why it's a cool fossil rock. Most people don't know it. If you were to ask, most of the people in Ohio Powell don't even know. Many of them have been to the Rapids Boulder Field many, many times, but they don't know about the fossil rock that has all the fossil plant life remnants right in there. 
waiting for some sort of botanist graduate student to do a do a paper on the plants that are fossilized there and uh, all that anyways beautiful Yakagini River this is the put-in place just down of Main Falls and the uh, kayakers and rubber boaters if you're a kayaker you just go around the loop that peninsula over there loops all the way around to over there and when you get over there you, you get to what's called the takeout takeout and the loop and then you uh, carry your boat all the way back over here and jump it again and you keep doing the loop over and over so you can hit the same seven rapids over and over but you have to be in pretty good physical shape for that